instead of fighting, and as, instead of trying to be the winner all the time, try different things and try what works for both of you. You know, a lot of times when the dogs fight and they fight and they fight and they fight, you don't want to give in all the time. I'm not saying that because if you give in and let them win, then they think, oh, well, you know, now I've got her. I don't have to be good. So what you want to do is hold them, hold them until they settle. And once they settle, once they stop bucking around and they settle, then release your grip a little bit and don't hold them so tight. And then if they act up, you hold them tight again. And then as they settle and stop bucking around, you release. And if you keep doing that, and you do that with their feet and everything, if, they, if you're holding out their feet, especially like poodles when you're shaving their, when you're shaving their, um, their feet, a lot of poodles will buck and buck and buck and buck. And so what you want to do is you want to hold their foot tight. And they'll keep pulling and pulling and pulling. And hold tight. Don't let go. And once they settle and they stop pulling, then release, your, release it a little bit. Ease back on the grip. And then once they realize they get that routine down, oh, OK, well, if I don't pull, she won't, she won't hold me so tight. And they'll figure it out. OK, so hold them until they settle. Stay, stay. And then once they settle, release and don't hold them so tight and it, it works very well. Okay, so you don't want to get, let them get away with anything. You want them to know you're a boss, but you have to do it in a way where everybody's happy and they're learning